what I want to do is, is kind of explain how the CarNet system works. This is uh, specific to the U.S. market. CarNet is the mobile app by uh, Volkswagen. It lets me do limited number of things uh, with the car via the mobile app. So one thing to know is the mobile app, it, the mobile app itself does not talk to the car directly. I think that's kind of conceptually that's true, but that's not what's happening. And if you understand that, that will help uh, understand how this thing actually works. What's going on is, we're going to start with the car. The car has a built-in cellular data connection. So here on the display, you can see it says 4G. It has two bars, so not a great connection. So in the U.S., the car comes with the data plan built in and is only used by the car to do this kind of service. So the car here is, think of it, going to hit some cell tower here and then goes through the Internet and then now is talking to the uh, Volkswagen CarNet servers. Nothing to do with the phone. At the same time, the phone... I have a uh, phone on the AT&T network with a data plan. So the phone is talking through its own internet connection, either via cellular or even through your home Wi-Fi, depending on where you are, or your work Wi-Fi. It goes to some connections through the cloud and then talk to the ser the, the uh, CarNet servers at Volkswagen. Right? So the car is reporting periodically how much battery it has. So it has 106 miles, I guess, reported through its own connection to the cloud, to the CarNet service. My phone asks the CarNet service what's going on with my car and it gets the number back down here. So it is communicated indirectly. Similarly, when I set the temperature and the AC on, my phone uses its own internet connection, whatever it may be, goes up and tell the CarNet service to talk to my car to turn on the AC, and that happens. And as you can see, later when I was doing it, it was actually having some problem. So somewhere in the up and down, there are delays, but eventually it worked, and that's why now the car is being cooled. You can kind of hear um, the AC going. So right now I'm sitting at home in my office, and I'm just going to start CarNet. It's going to use Face ID to get to my um, car, this is this. I'm covering it just because I don't want to show the VIN. And then I'm going to click on that. So we're inside the CarNet app now. You can tell last updated 419 at noon. So that's yesterday. The car hasn't been used since. And this is the climate which is off right now. So what I'm going to do is to um, turn this down. to, let's say, 70. Just thinking about it. Sending changes to your VW. And hopefully that works. So that took a long time. It's 10, 13 now, but it did work. Now what I'm going to do now is to actually turn it on so that it would cool the car. So again, it's sending changes, and it might take a while. So 10, 13. And success started. So it's about a minute. So what I'm going to do is to go out to the car. Maybe. So I'm heading to the car just to see whether my content initiated um, AC I don't know if you can hear the um, AC is going. Let me put it closer to the mic. So basically, the CarNet um, command to turn on the AC is working, and it is actually blowing cold air right now. So that is a demonstration of how to use CarNet, the mobile app, to in this case pre-cool. Um, the car. So that's it, CarNet in a kind of simplified way. 
the key thing is sometimes if you're in the car and you have data service, the additional pay service, your phone may be connected to the Wi-Fi in the car, but that has nothing to do with CarNet. Hope this all makes sense.